In today's video, we'll be talking about how poisonous gas from potatoes can be harmful and even fatal to people. Four members of a family were killed by gas from bad potatoes they kept in their cellar in Russia's Republic of Tatarstan on the Volga, local investigators said. Eight-year-old Maria Chelsea Heave lost her father, mother, brother and grandmother within minutes of each other going into the cellar at the family home. The bodies of a 42-year-old man, his 38-year-old wife, their 18-year-old son, and his 63-year-old mother-in-law were discovered in the basement of a garage in the town of Leashevo, according to official reports. After they were poisoned by the poisonous gas from rotten potatoes, an eight-year-old girl discovered the bodies of her parents, brother, and grandmother in the cellar of their house. According to a Russian news outlet, Maria Kilisheva's family was killed one by one after visiting a cellar where they stored potatoes for the winter, the orphan girl is being cared for by her relatives. Mikhail Kilishev, 42, her father, was the first to visit the cellar, unaware that the potatoes had become badly rotten. He had wanted to have the potatoes for lunch, according to the authorities, he fell from the strong gases and died soon after. When he did not reappear, his frightened wife, Anastasia, 38, rushed out in the dark to look for him and was likewise affected by the toxic gas. Georgi, the couple's 18-year-old son, then went in search of his parents only to share their awful destiny after inhaling the highly deadly gases. Anastasia's mother, Iraida, 68, called a neighbor to report a strange situation and ask for assistance. However, before help arrived, she also went into the cellar, suffocated from the gas, slumped, and died, according to the police. It is assumed that when she entered, she left the door open which allowed the smells to dissipate and this was why Maria was spared. When Maria entered the cellar, she discovered her entire family's bodies on the cellar floor. The shocking incident occurred near Kazan in the Russian Republic of Tatarstan, on the Volga River, they all died of gas poisoning caused by decaying potatoes in the cellar, according to a local investigator. Professor Kilishev's memorial service was held in the Marble Hall of Kazan Federal University, where he was the head of the Department of Civil and Business Law. Potatoes are a delicious food that may be utilized in a variety of tasty recipes, unfortunately, it can also be fatal in some circumstances. Potatoes contain poisonous chemicals known as glycoalkaloids, the most common of which are solanine and chaconine. Solanine and chaconine both produce toxicity by disrupting cell membranes, resulting in gastrointestinal symptoms such as vomiting, abdominal discomfort, and diarrhea. Some patients report headaches, flushing, disorientation and fever. Solanine is also found in plants in the Solanaceae family, which includes the deadly nightshade, Atropa belladonna, henbane, Hyoscyamus niger, tobacco, nicotiana, potato, eggplant, and tomato. This toxin has a negative effect on the neurological system, causing weakness and disorientation, it is most prevalent in the plant's leaves, stems, sprouts, and fruits. Light exposure, physical trauma, and age all increase glycoalkaloid content within the tuber, with the largest concentrations occurring directly beneath the skin. They are partially destroyed by cooking, the glycoalkaloid content in wild potatoes is sufficient to cause serious harm in people, glycoalkaloids can cause headaches, diarrhea, cramps, and in severe cases, coma and death, however, potato poisoning is extremely rare. According to research, the average person consumes no more than 12.5 mg of solanine per day from potatoes, the toxic dose is several times this, depending on body weight. Solanine intoxication causes death by causing the depression of the central nervous system, followed by the cessation of respiration and a complete loss of cardiac activity. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. We'll see you in the next video.